The word leadership brings to mind a variety of images, including a professional golfer visualizing where he wants to hit the ball each and every time. A fundraising chairwoman motivating team members after the initial enthusiasm fades. An enterprise sales leader creating a sequence of events that sets expectations up front. In this speech, we're going to talk about three leadership characteristics, including inspiring, motivating, and managing the delivery of a vision for people to engage in. Whether you're an innovative leader like I am, based on my assessment in Toastmasters, or democratic, autocratic. Leaders set direction, build an inspiring vision, and create a path for others to follow. An inspiring vision is one that you can see, feel, understand, and embrace. Jack Nicholas is a great example of innovative leadership an inspiring vision. He is the first professional golfer that visualized where he wanted to hit each and every shot before he addressed the golf ball. Jack's credibility and leadership has inspired all professional golfers worldwide to adopt this visualization philosophy because it enabled Jack to become the greatest golfer of all time. And everybody wanted to be like Jack. It's also the leader's ability to motivate people even after the initial enthusiasm fades. For example, when you start a new project, there's usually lots of enthusiasm for it. However, it can be difficult to find new ways to motivate team members after the initial enthusiasm fades. A nice example of this is our own Linda Robinson, who volunteered to be the chairwoman of our annual fundraiser, which also enabled her to complete her HPL, High Performance Leadership Project, one of the final steps before attaining her Distinguished Toastmaster level. Linda persuaded a few of her friends in Toastmasters to help her with the fundraiser. Then a law hit. Linda recognized we needed new energy and recruited a few other friends from Toastmasters to help her with the fundraiser. To drive more attendance, Linda promoted the fundraiser within Toastmasters and her dance studio. She even got her dance studio, Lawn Dance, to volunteer dance hosts who brought their students to the event. She also got the owner of Lawn Dance to persuade one of the professionals from Dancing with the Stars to attend the event and help us promote it. Linda's democratic leadership style enabled her to get people to join the team even after the enthusiasm faded. And we raised more money than any other fundraiser we had held. In addition, leaders create a vision so that the work needed to deliver it is properly managed. One of my clients who's an enterprise sales leader is particularly good at this. Autocratically, Sue creates a sequence of events that enables her to set expectations up front with her prospect that minimizes any surprises throughout the evaluation of software, including Step one, which is the introductory call, 
where Sue qualifies the deal. They have the need, the money, the authority to buy her stuff. And if they do, they go on to step number two, which is surveying the requirements to make sure Sue's solution fits their needs. And if it does, they go on to step number three, the presentation. And if they still like Sue after that, they're always gonna wanna talk to one of Sue's customers to make sure she's telling the truth. Step four is propose and negotiate. And step five, or step six, is contract execution. Each step in the evaluation is a go, 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 no go every time. Unless both parties agree to move forward, they can discontinue the evaluation of software. Hence, the sequence of events does two things. It creates a great communication tool for Sue to manage the delivery of her vision that enables her sales team to execute her plan. And two, since there are relatively few surprises during the evaluation, the prospect's implementation is done right the first time. Regardless of your leadership style, building an inspiring vision like Jack Nicholas, motivating team members after the initial enthusiasm fades, like Linda Robinson, or managing the delivery of a vision like Sue creates an environment that people will want to follow. And that is the true measure of great leadership. Here's the challenge. Ask yourself, how do I inspire, motivate, and manage the delivery of a vision for people to engage in.